what do you know? Brixie made another miscalculation. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another uh, Lego Room vlog. Yeah, so recently I came up with a brilliant idea and decided that we were going to get a filing cabinet for our instruction manuals, which we ended up getting from Stings Bricks. He provided a free filing cabinet for us uh, when we placed an order on his Bricklink store. So that was awesome. What a great guy. Uh, so what was our intention? Well, our intention was to transfer all of these instruction manuals that were in our furnace room in banker's boxes into a filing cabinet. That's missing the drawers right now. The drawers are still in my car because uh, these are still out because we're, we're waiting to get some AC installed. But either way, I was like, you know what? Oh, I've been waiting far too long. Let's get this filing cabinet loaded up into the furnace room. Let's get this uh, stuff out of my area there so we can start working. So I pulled out a handy dandy measuring tape and I was like, let's measure this thing and see how, is it's, how it's gonna fit in the furnace room, right? Measure twice, cut once. That's not the motto that I live by in this circumstance. But you know what? With this negative comes a positive. So I'm gonna show you my mistake right now. So you can see this filing cabinet right here is 28 inches deep and it's about 15 inches wide from side to side. So it's about 15 inches from there to there. So my original intention was to put it in the furnace room, which of course is right here. So I was like, oh yeah, that's gonna work perfectly right there. It's beauty. It actually would fit. It's awesome. It'd come out only about 15 inches. We'd have the drawers come out this way so we can access all of our instruction manuals. We'd still have some vertical room on top of it to put some bigger manuals with the big coils and stuff like that and then when I went to actually start moving it and putting it in place I was like well wait a minute this is our HRV unit right here and this cover opens up like this so this just pops open and then there's like the, the unit in here that you got to clean the filters of what every three months or so you got to clean these filters so it's not a big deal like I'm okay with that but the problem is, is that filing cabinet is 28 inches deep and 15 inches wide. So it'd come to here and it'd go to about here and this cabinet needs to flip open. In order to access the uh, filters and clean them, I would have to move this filing cabinet every single time I wanna go do that. So it's like, do I really wanna move this filing cabinet? When this thing is loaded full of instruction manuals, as you can imagine, it would be really heavy. I'd have to take out these long drawers that would clearly be able to hold a lot of instruction manuals per drawer based on the size. Therefore, this unit would be massive and really hard to move no matter how much I worked out. Why did I change my clothes? Well, I just got a phone call from my brother and we worked out together. So that's why I changed my clothes. I just snap in this uh, video here, pretty funny. But yeah, I'm glad I worked out. Now I might be able to haul this filing cabinet to its new location. Things are always changing, hey? I just hauled it down here the other day with my brother-in-law. Now me and Jose have to haul it all the way back upstairs because I guess it won't fit down here. So what's our new plan? Well, I guess it's gonna have to be added to the garage, which has way too much stuff in it already. Look at my wood yard. That's from all the Lego city tables that I've built. But we're gonna pop it right here and we're gonna put all of our instruction manuals in the garage. So obviously we've got a lot of heavy lifting to do today. We're gonna have to haul that filing cabinet all the way up those stairs that we just ran down along with all of those instruction manuals. And as we bring those instruction manuals out, we're gonna have a look at them because it's always fun going through, what, seven banker's boxes full of instruction manuals. <sighs> a lot of heavy lifting though. I hope Jose and I can do it. So check out this little life hack here. You just put it on a bath mat. And look at this, I'm doing the one arm slide. Of course Jose and I are gonna be able to do this. Come on, look at that. Now we'll just drag it up the stairs. Bada bing, bada boom. Easiest buy. Well everybody, we did it. Cause I am Iron Man. Doodle 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 doodle. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom, look at that. Got the filing cabinet installed. This thing's huge. Look at these drawers. They're so big. It's gonna be awesome. So next we have to transfer all of our instruction manuals in here. Hey, look at this. I've got a cliff bar and some police officers. What are they doing here? Check out what Mrs. Brixie just made. Ooey gooey chocolate chip cookies. And check out Luna in her new home. 
Do you like it in there, Lude? It's your new favorite spot. So I've switched to my phone, everybody, just because I don't feel like being mic'd up while we're doing all these exercises. But there's nothing really wrong with using banker's boxes to organize your manuals, especially if you're as organized as Mrs. Brixie. You can see each banker box has a different set theme, and they're even organized by set number. So you see Star Wars there, City, Speed Champions, Creator with a set number. Everything is so well organized. The problem is, is when they're in a big stack and I build a new Monster Fighter set and I gotta file the instruction manual, I've gotta move the entire stack and then file it accordingly. So it makes it difficult to make a system. So this is what always happens. I just end up putting them on top of the boxes and be like, yeah, here's a new Marvel set. Definitely don't feel like filing it away because I've gotta move all this stuff and then do that. So I become lazy and just stack them on top. So the filing cabinet's going to solve that problem, which is pretty amazing, right? So let's have a look at some of the instruction manuals in these boxes here and then organize them into our new and improved system. Well, these are for sure the best ones right here. These are the UCS coiled manuals. You got the Death Star 2, the Star Destroyer, the Super Star Destroyer, the Millennium Falcon, and the Death Star playset. I love these things here. I might have to keep these in the Lego room somewhere. Looks like in here we got some Star Wars, like Grogu. What's this? Oh, that's the gunship. R2-D2. The typewriter. Nintendo NES. What's that? Oh, piano. Oof, there's some good ones in here. Oops. There's some real good ones in here. What, oh, we got Friends, Winnie the Pooh, Blacksmith. Uh, Crocodile. Flower bouquet. Ooh, Ecto-1. I like that manual. That's a cool one. And we also got uh, Haunted House. And this is all of our brickheads right here. So all the brickhead manuals stuck on the side. Nice. That's a pretty cool box. All right, next up we got a cool box. Star Wars. Who's a fan? I'm a fan. Oh, my gosh. This thing is packed. Ooh. 20, uh, 20th anniversary. Slave 1. Ooh. Tana 4, just grabbing some of the thick ones here at random. Oh, Slave 1 UCS. What's this bad boy? It's got to be a good one. Oh, Sand Crawler uh, UCS. Let's grab something from the front here. <laughs> oh, some helmets. Some good stuff in here. That's crazy. What's this one? Oh, A Wing. Oh, I think this one's Darth Vader's Castle. Yeah, look at that. Darth Vader's Castle. Oh, I read it from afar, didn't I? Oh, this looks like, uh, what, at, -AT? Oh, at, -AT. <laughs> You know I'm a nerd one. I can guess what it looks like or what it is by the spine. That's hilarious. That's a good box right there. Star Wars is a good theme, but so is Creator. What's that? Oh, that's the, the one that we have two of, the Townhouse Pet Shop Cafe. Oh, that's a cool one. What's this thick one? Creator. Ooh, Turbo Targa. Oh, we saw that we had another one of those. That's because we built the... Uh, Alternate of it. Oh, police station. T2 camper van. Oh no! Oh no! I can't go back in. Oh, there we go. What's this? This looks like a three in one set. Oh, that's the creator uh, uh, corner garage. This is Assembly Square here. Assembly Square. Lots of good ones in here. It's wild to look at your manuals. Oh, roller coaster. It's fun. <laughs> it's a fun thing to do. I'm glad that we're making the transfer, Jose. This is pretty cool. Yeah, right on. That's a good box, too. Some of my favorite sets in there. There should be a whole other box of creator based on what's in here. Uh, okay, well, th this box is City. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the City manuals. Yeah, there's some creator stuff in here, too. I'm not a huge fan of the City manuals just because there's so many of them. You can see, like, each set has, like, a bunch of different ones, so it makes them harder to stow away. I understand why they give you... Oh, the Speed Champion's in here, too. I understand why they give you so many different manuals. It's because then you can build them as a family. But it just confuses me when you've got, like, you know, all these different manuals all over the place. It's not one big, thick manual. And they're just harder to sort and keep together and group together. And harder to file, too. You can see, like, they're side-by-side side and stuff like this. So this is a big chunk of City Speed Champions and also Creator with the set number range there as well. Good box, but not a huge fan of the City ones. But, of course... We keep them all. Here you go. Ideas, miscellaneous, and technic. Look at the thick ones in here. 
There's the Rubicon, the Coliseum. Ooh, Lamborghini Sien. Ooh, Defender. Our C truck. This one. I want to sell this one. I should pull that out and leave it out. Also, ooh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Ah, oh, T-Rex Rampage. Two manuals for that one. Ooh, Ghostbusters HQ. Nice. Simpsons, uh, how, or Quickie Bart, sorry. Ultra Agents Vehicle. Yeah, Pirates of Barracuda Bay. Big, thick treehouse. Wow, the treehouse is one manual. That's wild. Old Fishing Store. Sop with Camel. Another one I'm probably going to sell. Woo, some good stuff. Ah, here we go. Look at that. Harry Potter Castle. It's Harry Potter bin. Woo, Diagon Alley. Some superhero stuff, including the uh, Helicarrier. Also, Sanctum Sanctorum times two. Oh, what's that? Oh, the Daily Bugle. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, this is probably like Carnage. Also, Guardians of the Galaxy ship. Whoa, nice. Bruce Wayne's Manor. The Bat Cave, I should say. The, the Flying Fox. Oh, 89 Batmobile. Nice. This must be the Bat Wing. Yeah, Bat Wing. Doesn't look like it gets any more random than this, folks. Ninjago. Ooh, another Ninjago set. Uh oh, jamming it in there. That's not good. Oh, more Ninjago stuff. What's this? Disney Castle? Yeah, Disney Castle. Two Disney Castles. Uh, a bunch of brick model railroader stuff. Some architecture sets. Ooh, uh, Metal Beard Sea Cow. Some good ones in there, that's for sure. In addition to all those, we've got all these ones here that we need to sort into the system, into the filing cabinet. So the Speed Champions, Thor's Hammer, some Technic stuff, some Brick Heads. <laughs> all sorts of cool ones in here. Like, what are these thick ones? What is this? Okay. Ford Raptor. Oh, I'm making a mess. We got uh, Batmobile. It's a great movie. The Titanic. Woo! All sorts of cool stuff. So we'll have to sort these. All right, we'll check out this magical goodness here. First off, we put some smaller ones in here, such as brick heads, and then other miscellaneous smalls up top. Nice. That worked out well. That worked out really well. Okay, the filing cabinet though. This is all Star Wars. Whoa! <laughs> the whole drawer. And the nice thing is, is there's actually some expansion room in the back. Of course, the filing cabinet has that expander thing on the back so you can unlock more space or make them tight like this here. This is all DC superheroes and Harry Potter. Yep. <laughs> And then from there, this is all, what is this, Jose? Creator. creator. 18 plus. Yeah, creator, expert, miscellaneous. Holy Toledo. <laughs> that is a lot of instruction. That's wild. Did I skip this one? Or is that what I just did? Oh, I was just in that one. This is the one. There we go. I'm looking through a phone camera. You can tell. Speed Champions. That's all Speed Champions there. And then all City in the back. You can see there's our expander. So you just push that down and bring it back. And away we go. We got more space for for Technic more well. more sets. Oh, there's Technic in there too? Yeah. Oh yeah. Some big thick Technic ones you can see. Right? Like what we saw before. And then uh, this one here is miscellaneous you got some ideas in the front there some simpsons disney uh ninjago lord of the rings video miscellaneous stuff so there we go there's our new and improved filing cabinet system for all of our instruction manuals can you believe how many we have that is insane luckily there's still a bit of room in here and when we run out of room what we'll probably do is take all the smaller stuff out that's sort of tucked away in here like this stuff and put that maybe in bankers boxes up top here or something like that or eventually maybe get another filing cabinet but it's just crazy how many we have now even though i keep all my instruction manuals i throw away all my boxes it's time to recycle all of these guys right here Bye bye speed champions and thor's hammer 
All right, so now that we've dealt with the instruction manuals, we've got to do something ridiculous. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be moving these tables up against the wall like they are right now. And you can see that this plate alignment doesn't quite work. It has to go to the left a little bit. But we have enough space right here to move the entire city up against this pillar. So you can see there's about a couple inches there. And that's pretty much going to resolve that problem. So we have to move this entire table right here, which is 100 inches by 200 inches against the pillar. So we've got to move the entire city and amusement park over and also all of the stuff underneath. It's going to suck, but we're going to do it. All right, so that was a little bit of a challenge, I won't lie. What was so challenging about it? Well, of course, moving all the tables was what was challenging about it. Of course, all the base plates were being difficult too because we've got something going on here. The city's like half converted to mills and half regular base plates. So it didn't move as one chunk. So we've got all these little misalignments like that everywhere just because we just moved the entire city over essentially two inches, including the amusement park and everything. So we've got a little bit of a misalignment issue going right now. But I think we're just going to hang on tight. You know, it's going to be a bumpy ride. But now that we have this squashed over right against the pillar, there's actually some positive things. First off, our shelving is going to be more visible because we have a larger aisle here now, or row. So you can, like, actually walk down there, and there's two more inches of room. And I know two inches isn't a lot, but it definitely is a lot when you think that that was used to be 18 inches. Now it's 20 inches. So... That's good. Uh, and then as we go to convert more modular buildings, what we're gonna do is slowly but surely make sure everything is 100% aligned. And in some instances, we're gonna have to s uh, switch back to using the two by four tiles on the road. I just find that it, it holds the road together better than the Technic pins. I find the Technic pins more easily flex and turn and stuff like that. Whereas if you put the tiles there, I just feel like it holds it in spot better just for the roads though. So we're probably going to do that. But the main reason why we did this was, of course, to bada bing, bada boom, align that, right? So now uh, we've got uh, some room for base plates right there. And you can see that our road will actually align there. This is just off because this needs to slide over. Then there'll be one and a half base plates open there. And then our road can actually connect there. And it'll line up perfectly with the city. So rather than building some weird sort of angled road... Now it lines up perfectly with the city. So we're really happy about that. Okay, so now without putting the instruction manuals in a filing cabinet right there, we've got all that open space. So we're gonna use that new found open space for Lego sets. We're gonna put our Lego backlog in there. That's our building backlog, of course. You can see right over here is where we temporarily have it. It's not normally there, but once again, just waiting for this mess to be cleaned up, contingent based on some other stuff. And what are we gonna do? Oh, I guess I should find a home for these. But what are we gonna do with that space that we now have access to? Well, we are going to put a little Ikea cabinet like this here, but we're gonna get the taller version. And this is where we are gonna put our backlog. Well, we're gonna put our backlog on shelves like this in that area this is just our our bricklink store right there but we're gonna put steel shelving in that room so we can stow away uh, all our backlog which would be cool and while we're at ikea we also have to go get two more pack shelves not the big units but just two of these right here because we're actually going to be installing two more shelves yeah that's why we're going to get to uh we're going to be making some big changes to these areas right away. So I guess we'll be off to Ikea within the next couple days to initiate those changes. Jose and I have been thinking about it and we've come up with a way to free up some space here and just display more wicked cool awesome Lego sets. So we're pretty excited about that. I know I sort of filmed some of these videos in a weird order but this is just sort of a day vlog. Uh, right now it's Sunday and the AC guys better be here tomorrow. No, if, they're, if they have COVID I don't want them here but if they're here, I can't wait because then I can finally get this part of the city going. There's, I, I got to move this all the stuff back out of the way so that it's safe for them to move in and around here. 
that's why I haven't progressed with this area yet. And also the reason why we haven't progressed with uh, the Mills project is because we don't have the parts. We ran out of parts. I actually placed a huge BrickLink order. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It's massive. It's the biggest BrickLink order I've ever placed for Lego parts. It's on the way. And uh, there's some good pieces in there. Also, we're going to be uh, finishing up the school here now that we're done with uh, with these changes of uh, filing away all those stuff or all the instruction manuals and everything like that. It took a, a big portion of our day, that's for sure. Uh, let us know what you think of all of these changes here in the Lego room by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks for popping on by and farewell.